good afternoon this is the crafty nana and we're going to be doing dream catch making and this young lady Hello. Vivian is going to be our guinea pig for today so green first green first green gorgeous so let's do green first now now this is the magic ingredient okay this is just regular nail polish okay but this is what we use to make a pointy end on our string because it makes it go much easier for weaving and much easier for oh, going okay. through beads because okay. if, if you look at the other end because this is embroidery silk okay and embroidery silk is made out of lots of threads so what happens is it's like this you see Okay. And you can't yep. stick that through a bead, it makes it very difficult to yes. be, so this is our magic nail oh, polish. Okay. Okay. okay, so now this end we don't want to tie on because this is the end mm -hmm. we're going to be threading with, so we take the other end. Okay. Now, you're going to do a double knot. And again, I left it a bit short. Can I actually just make that a little bit longer because what I want you to do is I want you to have enough that when we get all the way around, we can tie it. So do another one. And then we'll, when we've gone right round the circle, we'll tie it back to that because that will keep all our stitches from okay. moving around. Okay. Now, because I'm mostly working with Asian children, <laughs> um, what I do for the, to teach them how to make the loops is mm -hmm. I use an analogy that they will remember and understand. So what we do mm -hmm. is we put, go straight across the middle. Mm -hmm. And these are our noodles. Okay, mm -hmm. this is our lovely bunch of noodles here. We have our chopsticks. Mm -hmm. We go between... We mm -hmm. pull our noodles up and this is our first loop. We put our loop in the same position each time. So it's going to be one inch, one mm. inch. We don't want them closer because if they're closer together, it will be too small. When you start okay. to get here, it'll be hard, really hard work. Okay. So one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, all the way. So again, across. Okay. Fing no, fingers go, th go through. That okay. side, no, that side, that side of the thread, that side. Right. Yes. yes. Pull up. Okay, perfect. Look. So then you move it round. Now this is a little bit um, catchy, so you have to make it go loose. But this is good mm. because it helps to hold each loop in the right place so it doesn't slide. If you have a very mm. slidey one, it goes all over the place. So this up, same distance. Right, now again, this time you all on your own. So, so this. That's it, perfect. You'll need these later, so I'll just move them out your way to over here. Right, to move it round, that's it. Just, just pick it up. It's funny because it doesn't even look like a loop until you pull it tight and then it's there. Start to see it moving. Okay. So we just come up. So where are we going to go? 
down here, we're going to go down this one. Okay. So take your pointy end and away you go. Now, whilst you're doing that, what I'm going to say to you is you've now got to think about certain different options. You can add occasional beads just into the weave. Mm -hmm. When the Ouija Indians created these to, to protect their babies from the nightmares, sometimes they would take like little stones and little beads mm -hmm. and they would give them a special meaning. So they would like, so if you were going to give it to a friend of yours who's going to put it in his car, you might mm -hmm. think, all right, this is going to protect you from accidents. And you think mm -hmm. about that when you're, when you're weaving it oh. in. And so it adds a little bit of like a positive vibe to it, you know? Okay. Or you can wait till you get to the centre and we can leave a little hole in the middle and we can put a nice bead in the centre and then put some feathers from that bead mm -hmm. in the centre. But there's lots of different ways we can do it. We can just have so if I want to add in? Yeah, so, so what you do is you just put it in exactly like that and then you carry on the next up, down, carry on. If you want it every one, you do one and then go through and then one and go through, then one, go through. Or you want it every other, then stitch, bead, stitch, bead. So it's up to you which way, how close you want them together, where you want to put them. Okay, can show me. circle and as you see they've, they've gone, now gone much more circular but when we get these ones down the middle and um, that would be perfect because it's going to bring it to here so the feathers are going to come down here and then we start hanging our center one from the middle there so put on your one two three and we'll see if we need to put a little small one through the middle or whether they fit perfectly okay whilst you're doing that we're then going to have a look at the feathers and decide what feathers want to go into our center and which feathers we're going to use for each of the different dangles and then we're going to work out the beads for each dangle that's the actually that's the artistic bit where you've got to take a little bit of time and work out okay there's the middle okay. one that's got can have more and can be the more fancy one because that's the mm. focal point but the two at each side need to match each other so as long as oh, it's balanced okay. the middle one can be as fancy as you like as long as the other okay. two are balanced okay.
keeping them a little close together, you just, just move them. Just, you know, just push them up with your fingers so they get right in the positions you want them. So, looking good. Last job now is to trim off all these little taggly bits that are where we've done our knots, and then we will have a very smart looking dream catcher. <laughs>